Now one way we can also compare different band combinations is to open up more than one display group at a time and have different combinations in each of the display groups. So at the moment in my first display group I've got a standard 321 or RGB um, true color composite, so 321 is RGB. Um, now what I'm going to do for a second display group is open up a combination that I quite like which is 542. So this is bands 5 as red, band 4 as green, and band 2 as blue. And so in Lancet terms this means we're using a mid-infrared which is band 5, a near-infrared which is band 4, and green which is band 2. Now instead of just loading that straight away in our first display group, what I'm going to do is to pull down this drop down here and go new display, and which will automatically give me a second um, display group window to start with. Just resize that. Um, now if I hit load RGB this time, what I've selected here is going to go into display group number two. So here we go, we've got our, our new display group, display group two. Um, showing us the band combination of 542 and immediately you can see there's quite a number of differences and different features that are really quite clearly apparent in this type of display. Now this is also called a, a false natural colour, so false because it's not using the standard red, green and blue um, combination that we see with our eyes, but natural in the sense that vegetation is still appearing green. So if we have a look in at Darwin, say, um, we'll have a look at the downtown area. Um, what we can see is we've still got the, the urban area, but this time appearing sort of in, in more cyan tones as opposed to the white here. Um, but the, the mangrove areas of the National Park down here um, are still green. They're a different tone of green to the first display group, but they're still green. Um, and our airport stands out really quite clearly in this colour display as well. The other thing that is really noticeable in this type of display are burnt areas. So if I move down to um, the south of the image, down this area here, I can see this area is, is a rather large burnt area and the green area is still vegetated. Now if I want to compare the two images, it's really quite simple to do that. I right click in one of the images and go geographic link um, and I'll have another little um, options box that pops up for me. And this time if I click both of these to switch on, so they're a toggle for on and off, and I switch them both on, this is going, this is basically saying that I would like to link my, my display groups 1 and 2 and click OK. Now nothing will happen immediately until you next click on one of those images. So say if I click in my display group 2 somewhere in this burnt area, we'll see that display group 1 automatically flies to that exact same area. Um, of the image. Try and squeeze them all on the screen here. Um, so this feature here is really quite nice um, and clearly apparent in the 542 combination, though not so much in the standard red, green, blue.